Hey, what's up everyone? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today we got ourselves a brand new flashlight review. This is the Trustfire MC1 flashlight. I've been using it the last couple of months. Now, generally, I'm very hesitant to work with brand new flashlight companies, at least new to me. I had never worked, heard of Trustfire before. I took a chance and I'm glad I did because this has definitely been a great little EDC friendly light that I've been carrying and I'm very much enjoying it. So let's talk about it. Thank you for joining me. Let's get started. So here we have it, the Trustfire MC1 flashlight. This is a rechargeable EDC style light with four different light modes. Now, how you recharge it is through this golden little ring right there. It does come with the proprietary charging code cord. I'm sorry. There you go, like this. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of proprietary cords because if you damage it, lose it, you know, you're SOL. Um, flashlight companies don't care. They're going to keep doing it, so take that for what it's worth. It does also come with a 16340 battery. Also includes a low battery light indicator right there on the button. So whenever you power it on, it's going to go eventually, you know, it's going to dip to yellow, red, blinking red, you know, as you're losing juice. So that's a good indicator of how much power you have left. Now, this is 56 millimeters in length. So let's, for us Americans, it is about two inches. So breaking out the Leatherman right there, just a little bit past two inches. And the diameter is a little bit past half an inch. Oh, let me bring it down here. It's a little bit past half an inch right there. It is 44.5 grams in weight. That is including the battery as well. Now, it is waterproof rated IPX8. Also does have a magnetic tail cap if you need to have your hands free. Uh, say you're traveling in the middle of nowhere and you're having engine troubles with your vehicle. It stalls or you, you, know, you pop the tire, you need to replace the tire. Something like that where you need your hands free. This is going to be usable. You know, put this against something magnetic. Once again, I think that's a necessity for an EDC style light. So this is something I always look for. It also has a really nice pocket clip. I really like it. It just it fits snugly onto the pocket of your jeans. And of course, also in case you, once again, you need your hands free, you're doing some night fishing, some frog gigging, or once again, working on your vehicle in the middle of the night. It, once again, you need your hands free. This will go really good on your hat. Check that out. Good stuff. So comparison time, here we have the Trustfire MC1 light right beside my Through Night T1, which is still my favorite EDC light of all time. And then right beside that, we do have the Phoenix E18R V2. Now, we do have reviews on both of these lights if you're so inclined to check them out. I'll have them right in the corner. And then at the very edge, we do have the Aurora of A21 from Rovibon. This is the next light, easily the largest from my EDC style lights. Uh, this is the next light I'm going to be reviewing after the Trustfire, so stay tuned for that. It's also the same company that does have my uh, my cowboy hat flashlights that I add. Ironically, I did not bring my light today, so I'll have to cut in through B-roll right here so you can see the, the MCR compared to the Aurora A1. So easily my smallest of my EDC style lights. I think it almost borders on being a little too small. I get very paranoid when it comes to lights being this small because I'm worried that, you know, you're on a hike or something and something so small and lightweight can just fall off your pocket and you wouldn't even notice it. It wouldn't even make much of a sound. And when you need it, it's gone. So I worry about that. Luckily, though, it does come with a great, great clip that just hangs on to your pants pocket and it's really good. So, you know, that worry quickly dissipated and then the last comparison is another trust fire this is the mc5 i will be reviewing this one eventually as well so this is its big brother right here so there you go okay folks so let's go ahead and test out the different modes it does have four modes now i apologize if audio is a little wonky it's getting very windy i believe a storm is rolling in it's very cloudy up above i could feel a couple of raindrops so um yeah apologies if audio is a little off so let's go ahead and test out the modes very simple easy to operate light you go ahead and press the button for about a second there we go and it has four modes so just click it down to alternate between them that's high 
low. Obviously low is not a traversing through the darkness kind of light. It is barely 15 lumens. It'll last you 35 hours with a max distance of 12 meters. Not something too powerful. This is something, you know, you're looking in your pack for something in particular or your glove compartment, you're reading a map kind of thing. Something like this, very low. I like a good low setting because I use them pretty often. So if I'm reading notes or something like that, as I'm doing right now, reading the, the schematics for this light, there's a great little setting. Obviously it doesn't translate well, once again, to like, uh, you know, you're on a hiking trip and the sun set lower uh, before you could get to your vehicle or something like that. So not something you really want. Uh, it Once again, the max distance is 12 meters. I'll show it in action uh, better in a little bit. So click it down to get to medium. Medium's a little stronger, a little bit more formidable. The, um, that one's gonna be 168 lumens. It'll last you 139 minutes with a max distance of 51 meters. This is definitely a better light right here. And I'll show it in action in a little bit. I'm just reading notes right now, so I need to keep the camera still. And then click it one more time to get to 1,000 lumens. This is nice and powerful. Once again, for a light that's barely 2 inches long, I think this is really great. Now, the high mode is 1,000 lumens. It'll last you 75 minutes with the max distance of 129 meters. Really nice light. And now let's go ahead and turn it off. Well, I moved it to low. So it's turned off now. To get to strobe, when it's off, hold it for two seconds. And there you go. We got strobe. It is a thousand lumens as well. I don't particularly use strobe all that much, although it did save my butt one time when my ex-girlfriend's car just died in the middle of a road. And uh, as I'm pushing it, I, I like to very much not get pancaked by a vehicle. So I we put this in the back of her truck as I put uh, her car as I pushed it. And uh, you know, I like to think that it it helped passersby know not to you know kill me. So turn it off. Hold it down once more, it goes back to where you left it. I did leave it on low, so moving back up once again to medium and high. So I removed the camera from the tripod and now let's see this little light in action. So let's go ahead and hold the button down and there we go, this is low. Once again, this is a small light, a weak light. This is not meant for, to be traversing through the darkness, through a mountain or something like that on its own. I wouldn't have a lot of confidence in it unless this is all you had. And as I've mentioned many times in, knife, uh, in flashlight reviews beforehand, it looks better in person than it does through the camera. So just judging right here, it's a little stronger in real life then once again than camera. But uh, this being such a small light, this is more for reading notes kind of thing or rummaging through your tent you know anything like that you could read this without it jumping you know with the light bouncing back and hurting your eyes so once again i wouldn't be too comfortable traversing through the wilderness with this and you know it doesn't have the reach it doesn't have the the birth so you got to be careful from like you know holes from prairie dogs that you can you know break your ankle if you fall on or you know rattlesnakes god forbid so and once again this is great for reading notes, something like that, reading maps. But there's not a lot of distance there. Now let's move on to medium. Medium's a little bit better. As the name implies, it's middle of the road. It's not too high, it's not too low, but it's something where it has more of a reach and it has more of a floodlight. So I like the flood once again because out here during the summer nights we get a lot of uh, rattlesnakes and something you don't want to bump into or just you know a slippery area with rocks and before you know you're tumbling down the hill. So you want to be careful. There we go. Decent. It's decent. Not the strongest but once again you'll be glad to have it when needed. Once again, going through the scenario that, you know, you're a hiker and before you could get back to your vehicle, the sun set on you, it's dark. This is a light I feel comfortable with. And now let's go ahead and move on to high. And this thing is a thousand lumens. I like the reach as well. Look, we can illuminate that water tower or whatever it is up there. And that's a good distance right there. We can illuminate, the, illuminate this little building, water building, water pump, whatever that is. And it's got some, it's got some reach. I like it. Very impressive. 
So a thousand lumens, once again, for something so small, I really enjoy. You can see the light right there. It's on my flashlight. It's medium because it's yellow. I'll annotate down below what's that, what that means. And yeah, very much enjoy this. Okay, and then let's go ahead and turn it off. Hold it for two seconds. And there we, we have strobe mode. Now I've complained about strobe mode so many times saying that it's a useless feature. I would rather have something else. And although I can, I still kind of feel like that. I, I've grown to appreciate a good strobe because it's not a setting you're gonna use every time. It's not a common one. However, whenever you need it, you will be glad you have it. Once again, using the whole scenario that you're a hiker and the sun set on you before you can make it back down and say in a hurry you made a mistake and now you are lost out there and people are looking for you. This is a great way for signaling. This is a great way to have the rescue team or whatever find you, locate you. You're able to signal from far away and you know something like this doesn't take effort. Imagine if you didn't have this and you're just like you're just trying to do this the whole time you know something like that. I think it's you're going to be eating the battery away. So once again a good strobe mode is going to be very useful. And I, you only click it just once and it'll take you back to the last setting you had it on. I had it on low, so let's see if it remembers. Yes, it does. So move it to medium and let's turn it off. Whoops. Let's go back to medium, turn it off, hold it for two seconds to get to strobe. There we go. And now let's click it once and it'll go back to medium. There you go. Click it one more time to high. Bam. So once again, for such a small light, I very much like, you know, the features on it. I like the high. I like the low. I like the strobe, the medium. Really good light. There's something in the bushes. There's some deer. Oh no, they're javelinas. Oh, that's crazy. That was awesome. So final thoughts on the Trustfire MC1 flashlight. I gotta say, my experience with this light has been overwhelmingly positive. I love how small and lightweight it is. I love the fact that, you know, for something that's barely two inches long, it packs a thousand lumens. It packs a punch for how small it is. Very much enjoy that. I very much enjoy the clip. It's probably my favorite pocket clip in all my flashlights that I have. It's not too stubborn. It's where it's just difficult, but at the same time, it's just, it's Goldilocks zone. Just perfect right there. I very much enjoy that. I very much like the power battery, uh, power indicator. Obviously, they did not come up with this. Other flashlights have it too, but it's always a welcome feature. I don't know if you can tell, but it's orange right there because I've been using it. I should have charged it before coming out to film, but I do like it. There are two, I wouldn't say they're negatives. They're just something to notice that, you know, it could go either way, whether it's a deal breaker for you or not. And I understand both. So the first things first is I like that it is rechargeable. I don't like the fact that it has a proprietary cable. I'll never like proprietary carry cables because if you damage it, lose it, you're SOL. Luckily, I do have a second Trustfire light that they did send to me to test out as well that you saw earlier. So if something happens to one cord, I still have the other one. So uh, I think it's fine. But if this is a deal breaker for you, I completely understand. Another thing to note is from the, my months of using it, particularly out in the woods, out in the desert for overnighters, is it's not a very powerful light for the wilderness. This is very much an EDC in the city oriented light in my opinion. I've noticed that it does die out when I'm using it for a long time, once again, out camping. So it's not a big deal for me. When I have an EDC light, I want something that's gonna be lightweight, compact, easy to carry on my person. But at the same time, because it's a smaller light, it's obviously not gonna hold as much power, as much juice as something more bigger such as once again this other trust fire right here so obviously i mean just common sense which one's gonna be able to hold longer power which one's gonna have the more longer of a range when it comes to settings and stuff like that obviously the bigger one so it's not a big deal i carry this in my pants pocket and then in my haversack i'm always gonna have something larger so something to note there i don't think it's a big deal but you know if whenever you're out camping or something like that you should always have more than one light 
just in case. So, I mean, that's common sense. Even if you had a more powerful light, have a second one, you know. But that's about it for me, folks. Other than that, big thank you to Trustfire for sending this to me. I very much enjoy it. I think it's a great little light. Looks really awesome. And if you are so inclined to purchase one, I'll have the link down below so you can buy one. Also, the link down below is our merch store for Fox and Gwerbel merch, like shirts, mugs, stickers, so on and so forth. So you can look awesome while supporting your favorite Cowboys. And that's about it for me, folks. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Now go outside and get your boots dirty. I hope I didn't give anybody a seizure there. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week, folks. <laughs>